Hello everyone. My name is Tomohiro Karuta from National Cancer Center Hospital with Kashiwa, Japan. I'm specialized in upper GI cancer and corresponding author of this article. Today, together with my colleague Dr. Sato, I would like to talk about our original article, which was recently accepted in GIE and titled Long term clinical outcome after endoscopic resection of esophageal squamous cell carcinoma invading muscular mucosa without lymphovascular invasion. On behalf of co authors, we would like to thank GIE for the opportunity to present this our study. Hello, everyone. My name is Daiki Sato, first author of this article. It is a great honor for me to have such an opportunity to introduce our study today. First of all, why did you decide to conduct this study? Endoscopic resection is a standard treatment for superficial esophageal squamous cell carcinoma. Whether resection is curative or not is determined based on the pathological findings of the resected specimen. Pathological EPRPM without LVI has very low risk of lymph node recurrence, so it is defined as curative resection, and follow-up after a year is recommended. On the other hand, pathological EPRPM MM with LVI has high risk of lymph node recurrence. A cumulative recurrence rate was 46.7%, therefore it is defined as non-curative resection and additional treatment after a year is recommended. Regarding pathological MM without LVI, according to Japan Gastroenterological Endoscopy Society EMRESD guidelines for esophageal cancer, the proportion of lymph node recurrence is 5.6%. However, these data were not regarded as high-level evidence because several retrospective case series were targeted with a sufficient long-term follow-up. Therefore, additional treatment after a year was controversial. From these backgrounds, what is the aim of this study? We aim to clarify the long-term clinical outcome after a year of pathological MMESCC without AVI. Study design was single institutional retrospective study. The patients included in this study were pathological MMESCC with an AVI who underwent M block resection with ER and were vertical margin negative between January 2009 and November 2017. How were the clinical outcomes after ESD, EMR, or pathological MMESCC without AVI? Finally, 87 patients were enrolled. Five year cumulative recurrence rate was 4.3%. The five-year disease-specific survivors and overall survivors were 98.2%, 91.7%, which were favorable outcomes. Based on these results, how do you think about additional treatment for this population, necessary or not? The recurrence rate is similar to the guidelines. So we think whether additional treatment should be performed is still controversial. But all three patients died of primary disease, and two of them developed recurrence more than three years after a year. Are there any risk factors for recurrence that have already been reported in this population? As candidate risk factor for recurrence, histologic type of poorly differentiated tumor size of more than 50 meters and MC were reported. However, these factors have not been established. In this study, are there any unique findings of the current patients? One of the three patients had histologic type of poorly differentiated and the other had a tumor size of more than 50 meters. We think a larger sample size study is needed to identify risk factors. If a risk factor for recurrence is identified, what do you think about the promising additional treatment? As standard additional treatment, we can select a subjectomy or CRT. 
Subject me has good survival outcomes, but this treatment has a disadvantage of low quality of life due to organ loss and serious AE. On contrast, CRT has favorable outcome compatible to subjectomy without serious AE, but RT-related late AE sometimes occur, so the treatment should be selected according to the patient condition. So in summary, the long-term outcome of pathological MMESCT without FEI after ER was favorable. However, this population has the risk of recurrence directly leading to death, right? Yes, therefore, long-term and strict follow-up more than three years is necessary to monitor the timing of recurrence. Thank you. Thank you.